So can you make money with exchange traded funds? Let's have a look at the top 10 ETFs in Australia right now and we'll have a look at the performance of how they've done over the past three years. And while past performance is no guarantee of future performance, I think we've shown that over the past year and a half, uh, the market has been so turbulent. So can you still make money with ETFs? Now, I am actually a big fan of single stocks. I like buying companies directly, um, but I do own two exchange traded funds. I own VHY, which is Vanguard's high dividend yield ETF. And I also have VAP, which is Vanguard's property securities ETF. Those are currently not in the top 10. I think VAP is about 12th most popular and I think VHY might be around somewhere between 15 and 17th most popular. Although interestingly, I like VHY better than VAP, but this isn't about my favorite ETFs. It's about the top 10 ETFs and the performance that they've had over the last three years. Firstly, let's define what make money actually means. I mean, even if they've made a dollar, you've technically made money. What I'm looking at is a, a decent percentage return per annum. So with Australia, anything over about eight or nine percent is typical of the market as a whole. So if they're doing better than that, you are making money. A lot of the ETFs in the top 10 uh, follow the ASX 200 or any of the other indexes, major indexes in Australia anyway. So they're pretty close to what the market has done overall anyway. But there are a few that have invested in over overseas shares and some that follow other sectors, say gold and cash and things like that. So let's go and jump in and have a look at the performance. First, I'll show you how I found the information so that if you want to go and do your own research, you're most welcome to copy what I've done or go and fact check anything. And some of these sites are great just going to have a look at any of the performance of the exchange traded funds listed on the ASX. But I thought I'd stick with the top 10 ETFs since these are the ones that most people in Australia will be wanting to invest into. And to determine the top 10 that I've used in this video, I've just taken them by market capitalization. So the largest ETFs listed on the ASX. You will, of course, need to go and do further research before you invest in anything, but I thought it'd be interesting just going, having a look at their performance and how well they've done over the last three years. First of all, I'm in Comsec. I'm in the Quotes and Research tab, and if we go and find and filter stocks for the next one, and then we're going to go down to here, these second, third row, I guess it is, of tabs. We're going to go to ETF Screener. And you can screen for anything here, but all I want to do is search by market capitalization. So let me do that. And so here is the, I've now searched by market capitalization, the top 10 biggest ETFs in Australia. So we've got Vanguard Australian Shares, Perth Mint Gold ETF, State Streets, ASX 200, iShares have their version of the ASX 200, I should also have the S&P 500, which is US stocks. We've got the Vanguard International ETF, the Vanguard US Total Market Shares ETF, Beta Shares Oz High Interest Cash, which is just a cash only ETF, the iShares Global 100 ETF, the and the Vanguard, I think that's number 10, Vanguard All World excluding the US shares ETF. So we've got a mixture of Australian and international shares and a few different sectors. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 is the top 10. So let me just grab this information and I will put it into a spreadsheet. So here are the top 10. I kept market capitalization and year-to-date return, although I'm not really interested in year-to-date return because if we look at 12 months ago, the stock market was falling. Um, so it's not a real good indication of how well it's actually, the fund is actually doing. So I'd rather look at three years return. So now I'm going to show you where I got the three-year return information from. So you can go and find that yourself too. I'm at the morningstar.com.au website and I'm in the ETF performance. Uh, table so you can find that ETFs performance table and it just lists all of the ETFs on the ASX right now and it's got year to date six month one year and three year return so I was just interested in the three year return all I did was go and find the ETFs and then just look at what the three year percentage annual return was for that particular fund so you can go through here and look at them all some of them are 
uh, fallen quite a lot and some of them are really high. There was one that was like about 40% or oh, this one's 39. I don't actually know what it is. Um, but it's very interesting to go in and have a look at the ETFs and their performances over the last one year, three years or whatever. So that's where I got the three year returns from, from the Morningstar website. And these figures don't include dividends, it's based just on share price. So as you can see, the most popular, which is VAS, has a three year return per annum of 9.69%, which is great. Perth Mint Gold, it's returned 8.4%. We've got a few ASX 200 um, ETFs. We have the S&P 500. You'll notice that the international shares uh, seem to have quite a really good return over the last three years. This one is not surprising. Beta Shares High Interest Cash ETF is only 1.36%. There's no money in cash. The interest rates are just way too low. So um, I personally wouldn't be buying into an exchange trader fund for cash only for high interest cash because the return's not there, but I guess it's safe. And I would imagine that a lot of the superannuation uh, companies are actually the ones that are investing in this to balance out portfolios. In fact, a lot of these superannuation companies and funds will be buying into them for their customers. So it won't be just personal people buying into these exchange traded funds. But as you can see, there's been some really good returns. The ones that most people go through will be are pretty much around the 9.5% with Vanguard VAS Australian Shares ETF, 9.69% per annum and that I think is a great return. So yes, you can make money with exchange traded funds. Another thing I wanted to add is why the global ETFs can look quite great. Uh, the return can look quite good is because they reinvest dividends. You don't receive dividends from international ETFs here in Australia. You only receive them for Australian based company ETFs. But if you are looking to invest overseas, ETFs are one of the best ways to do that. So what can we learn from this? We can learn that following an ETF or having a well diversified portfolio means that you'll be following very closely the market as a whole and history has proven that the stock market goes up over time even in those down years like right now we had a fall last year and it's back up to roughly where it was before the fall. With Australian based ETFs you will also in most cases depending on the exchange traded fund will also be receiving dividends. Uh, we didn't cover dividends much in this video but a lot of the price that you see the return is only based on the stock price, the share price rather than the dividends being included in that. So that's going to be extra income and extra return on top of the already increased share price. And a lot of them allow you to reinvest the dividends if you don't want to take the cash for any reason so you can build up your portfolio and make the returns even greater over the long term. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and found it interesting. I certainly liked looking at the performance of the exchange traded funds, uh, the top 10 over the past three years and I actually liked going in and just seeing which of the ETFs have made the highest gains over the past uh, three years as well even though just choosing an ETF based solely on returns is not the only way to go. You need to be doing more research than that but I just found it really interesting. And so I hope you did too. And so thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.